Hey, Captain Danny here with Mass Man Fishing. And uh, this is going to be a quick little video about the boat. So you see what you're getting into when you go on a charter. Check it out. Well, what we got here is a 24 foot Fishmaster, which is built by Kenner. I, of course, use a GPS trolling motor. Got a keel guard on there, dual axle trailer just to get there. And this is what the side is mast man fishing, just in case you needed to know. And of course, I got the new Suzuki 250 SS in the matte black. I love that thing, it's insane. And of course, you gotta have a power pole. I'd like to have two. But uh, I have a ladder that goes on right here. And with another power pole, I don't have room. So, but here she is. 24 feet. It's dirty. It's all stained up right now. Coming off of four days of back-to-back -back charter. So it's fixing to get a good cleaning. All right, let's jump in. Hi, right, on the boat. Let's flip this thing over. All right, so there's obviously my GPS trolling motor. That thing is amazing. I just rebuilt it. Here is the Minn Kota plug. I did a video on that. This is the anchor locker. Let's see if I can back this up. There we go. This is the anchor locker here. And I use a very large anchor when I need it. And I have a uh, lot of chain, a lot of rope. This thing is a mess. My uh, navigation lights are built into this boat. Let's see if you can see them. Pop-up cleats, which is nice. Your line doesn't get snagged on it. This is my front compartment, I guess we'll call it. Um, it's actually insulated, so it can be a fish box if we catch like a big Kobe or something. And I got, I keep a net in there and a uh, my fish bag, my ladder, all that can come out. I just put it in there when I'm trailering. This one here, I keep all my stuff for the boat. So I got my, this, this comes out, but that's my drift sock, cast net, got some other stuff in there. This one is normally for clients. Um, I threw all my fishing gear in there, trailering it. The bottom one here is where all the life jackets go and throw cushion, all up to date, all the good stuff. Got a little measuring stick here. Rod holder, rod holder, another measuring stick here. Captains for clean water. Uh, I got the rails on this boat, which I didn't think I'd like, but I actually love them. It gives you something to grab hold of. Uh, rough water, help you get up. It's, it's definitely, uh, I like it. So this is a track for a bimini top. I don't normally keep the bimini top on the boat unless I'm doing like a scallop trip or something like that, or sightseeing. Otherwise I keep it off so it doesn't get in the way. Uh, center live well, I guess we'll call it. Very cushioned. I just got this redone, brand new upholstery. It's got a recirculating pump and an aerator with an air stone in there. Of course, the windshield, some more cup holders. Here's the center console. This is probably my favorite, my newest invention, or investment, I should say. <laughs> Hummingbird Helix 10. I have all the newest maps in there uh, with, with uh, aerial, like satellite imagery and the whole nine yards. Uh, this is the, for the new motor, the Suzuki gauge. It's got a lot on it. This is my new dash that I just made, the video. Mass Man Edition. Here is the controller for the power pole. I got a 12 volt so you can charge your phones and stuff. This is for my underwater lights. I'll post that up so you can see the lights on the inside too. This is um, my regular radio. It's got a Bluetooth uh, so you can connect your phone and uh, listen to whatever music you want when you're on the boat. My VHF radio, uh, this has an internal GPS and a distress button. So, if we ever need it, which we never have, but we got it. Hit that button, help comes. 
then of course all the other good stuff builds all that you know all that good stuff inside of here i have all my batteries there's four batteries on here and i keep a jumper box as well then i got the rod locker i guess you call it a rod storage in the gunnels gunnel rod storage maybe uh, one on either side so that gives us four more rods that we can keep um i was out today offshore so i brought the gaff i bring it most of the time because i don't bring that many rods this this boat will hold 20 rods i got rod holders everywhere it'll hold 20 rods so it has a hundred gallon gas tank well a 98 gallon gas tank uh got the suzuki 250 ss my power pole this if you've never seen a power pole here i'll match the button watch this just sticks down into the mud and we stuck and then just automatically mash the button again back up we go that thing's awesome thank you barb she bought that for me i got two jump seats here too one on either side of the boat these open up nice comfortable seat with a backrest uh, another live well here same thing recirculating pump and there's an air stone in there as well here is my uh, access to get to all my pumps and everything and i have emergency shutoffs in there so if something were to break i have shutoffs where no water can get through so but that's it that's the boat she runs great now especially with the new motor on it um yeah come on come join me all right, well, thank you for watching. I did go out today. I wonder if I got anything in the cooler. Ooh. Hey, somebody left me a bonus. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll take it. All right. Time to watch the boat. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Mass Man out.